Hey fellow Fright Fiends, real quick before this video starts, I want to showcase another Salem's Lot item that I just received. Um, I want to thank my good buddy Brian Henderson from Forever Midnight Podcast. Back on January 20th, he let me know about this company called Death Rattle Market. Um, it's, he said it was like a bootleg shirt company. I had never heard of them before, but they had this Salem's Lot uh, shirt that was available and it was only like 14 bucks. So really good deal. Um, so I ordered it that day. It just arrived today today being the 9th of February. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. Of course, they did change uh, Barlow's face a little bit, so it looks a little different, but I love this shirt. I'm gonna be rocking this shirt today. I just wanted to showcase this real quick and give a special thank you to Brian and Forever Midnight, the amazing podcast that I've been listening to for about five and a half years now. So please check them out. I'll put a link down below, support them. They're awesome guys, Brian, Jeff, and Josh. And now on to my main video, which is showcasing some new Salem's Lot media, uh, media items that I've picked up and one that was gifted to me. So I hope everyone enjoys this and here we go. Boogie right. man, man, coming round the band is boogie man, man. Is boogie man, man. Greetings fellow Fright Fiends and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I uh, wanted to do a video today um, because my week is going to be pretty packed and I want to make sure there's something new coming off on the channel this week. Now, if you remember a couple videos back where I showcased this amazing hoodie, uh, my Salem's Lot hoodie that I got from High School Pizza. Um, I love this hoodie so much. Um, of course, it has Barlow on the back. If you guys seen my video, um, you know that it's got the, the master on the back of this. Um, but I talked about yeah. that I had done another video and I was going to publish it possibly before I went to the East Bay Comic Con. Um, what ended up happening is I just really wasn't happy with that video and I ended up deleting it. Now in that video, I, I kind of, uh, did like a Blu-ray and collectible showpiece, um, where I showcased like a ton of Blu-rays that I had picked up and some collectibles that I've gotten in the last few weeks. But I just really wasn't happy with it. Um, I just, I just didn't think it was, it was good. And, uh, then I did like a different opening to it and I didn't like that either. So just thought I would do a Salem's Lot video today because two of the items that I showcased in that initial video, you might hear my cat walking by, sorry. Um, two of the, uh, items that I showcased in that video were Salem's Lot related. And there's little stories behind each of them. So I'm going to showcase those now, and then I'll do another video um, showcasing more of the stuff that I showcased in the video I deleted uh, later. Um, but uh, I have two uh, Salem's Lot related items here. Um, there's a story behind each of them. I'm going to start with this one. Now, um, I also uh, real quickly want to promote my buddy uh, Danny Evans and Sam Straub. Uh, Danny and Sam and I, about a week ago, got back together to do another uh, video on his Everything's 101 channel. Uh, we are now known as the Salem's Lot Minority. I remember many times I was talking about we had a hard time coming up with names for our little group. Uh, but uh, we published, a, well, Danny published a new video over the weekend. I will put a link down to that below. We talk about, of course, the unfortunate passing of Lance Kerwin, who played Mark Petrie in the film. We also talked about the book that I'm writing. And uh, talk about one of the movies that I'm going to showcase in this one there briefly. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely recommend checking out Danny's video. He always puts out quality stuff. Uh, him and Sam are great. They're just great friends and uh, really looking forward to doing more segments with them this year. So again, link down below to Danny's Everything's 101. I also put a link down below to Sam's channel, uh, Tabby. But uh, this one... This goes back to January 2nd. Uh, Sam let me know that there was a seller on eBay that was selling a Blu-ray high-definition version of Salem's Lot, the movie. Now, people that don't understand this, I'm going to showcase this. Back in the day, this was the only way you could watch the, 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 the miniseries, the movie. This was the condensed European version of the film, which is down to 113 minutes, so it's not the full uh, miniseries. Um, but this is what you could rent. Um, it wasn't until about 1993 when uh, the miniseries became available on VHS. So what has happened, though, over the years is that you cannot, there is no um, Blu-ray or DVD formatted version of Salem's Lot, the movie. But the seller on um, eBay actually did that. So he took the VHS copy of Salem's Lot, the movie, and he transferred it onto a disc. Now, the cover art did not come with the disc. I actually bought this from another seller. I bought uh, Sam a copy of this as well because I wanted to pay it forward because he got me those awesome um, 
uh, 8x10 autographed pictures of Brad Savage, who played Danny Glick. So I wanted to get him a gift, so I bought him a copy of this, and I also bought him uh, a case uh, to, to put it in, because the, the seller that actually made the uh, that burned the movie and made it into a high definition blu-ray um just to put it on a just a regular plain disc and it just came in like a little cd case um, so sam got it a custom case that has the original kind of uh cover art on it uh but i opted for this one which is one of the european cuts this is actually called phantasma 2 which was the spanish poster um, but this is really cool and I just wanted something different from the standard, uh, you know, releases just to sort of differentiate it. Um, but Sam, I asked Sam which one he wanted more and he said he wanted the one that looked like the standard poster. So sent him that. He got it last week. Very happy with it. And I, like I said, it looks great. Again, it does have some of the tracking, you know, um, things that you would see like, you know, lines and tracking moments that you would see on a normal VHS tape. But still happy to have it because I don't have a VCR anymore, so I can't watch this stuff anymore um unfortunately now the other one that i got this one is awesome because uh this was sent to me by my friend russell waggis of course he did the amazing salem's lot and halloween three cards um he sent me this last week it kind of took a while to get here and what this is and i'll read the back of it said this is an attempt to recreate the original broadcast experience from 1979 the basis of this edit was a high quality recreation of the two-part broadcast found online this included the pre-show intros, commercials from the original broadcast were found online for all three breaks for the first night and one of the breaks for the conclusion. To fill in the remaining commercial breaks, other advertisements shown on CBS during the month of November 1979 were utilized. Enjoy. So again, an amazing gift. Um, I actually watched some of it, especially the uh, part two, which is the first part of Salem's Lot that I ever saw, and that intro, and I remember it five and a half years old and I remember watching that so it was a real treat to watch that but this was awesome again another awesome gift from an awesome friend um Salem's Lot has really helped introduce me to a lot of amazing people and uh yeah I'm grateful for these awesome items that I have and I just thought I'd do a little video showcasing them let me know what you guys think about them and also if you guys are interested in getting one of these hoodies I will put a link down below to high school pizza where I got this I love this hoodie it's amazing definitely recommend picking one up if you're a Salem's Lot fan again I'm keeping my ear out for any news on the remake there's nothing nothing new um so who knows what's going to happen, but like I said, I will keep everyone posted. Uh, thanks so much again for the support, and I will talk to you guys again real soon. Take it easy, stay scared as always, and remember, you can do nothing against the master. Peace. <laughs>Hey fellow Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy, stay scared as always.